Okay, everybody. Let me see. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with uh, pizza tonight, and so we can check the audio. Let me know how things are going. Um, yeah. So welcome to the. Try and solve this real time. It's either the Elgato is doing its job or not doing its job. Should be doing its job, so maybe it's this game. Yeah, okay, so that should do it. I like the itch launcher. Okay, let's see. There we go. Alright. I've seen a bunch of people play this snap by now, so... Oh, the controls are very, very difficult. Alright. Nothing back here. Wow, it's no sound on stream? It's very loud in my headphones. Uh, is it coming through now? Yeah. I think it should be. Uh, let me know if it's still not. But I think OBS just needed me to yell at it. There it goes. Let me know if it's too bad. It is way too bad for me, but I guess I can turn that down. Oh. 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 Should I restart my run? I feel like... Uh, oh, yeah. Is there a jump button? the sneaky pizzas. There they are. Pizza's on the roof. Oh, 
haven't used the arrow keys this much in a long time. Wait, oh, I can just use YSD. Okay. There's the nine. Now I know where they are. So it's just those final six. God, these controls are so wild. I that's when I was watching multiple people stream this. Uh, I did not realize. so good. I cannot emphasize enough, like, all the sounds, everything. Um, good job. Uh, let me look at what is next. I actually wrote out my list, so it would be easier to do it later. Um, just going to go to the library, view all. We are not going to play Dicey Dungeons. I would like to. Um, I'm going to tr next try to figure out to me, to me, to me. Right, and I'm going to look at how to play, because this is very important. Uh, there we go. Uh, space A button, N or X. Oh, what? We do damage. I'm gonna shoot off their heads. Fill the bottom slots using the blocks. Try to get the pattern shown below. Shown below. Um, yep. By shooting it once. No, I remember that part. Okay, I get it. Do you get it? shoot working. Oh, just enter? Hmm. 
No. What? Oh, can I use the gamepad? Okay. Sweet. Wait. No. Hmm. Wait, I forgot what the pattern I wanted is. This is a good platformer. How do their heads grow back? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Can I jump on this? Oh. Oh, I get it. Okay. Jeff Goldblum. I figured it out. Excellent work. Oh. What are these things? Ow. Okay, that was a bad idea. Oh. No, wait. Damn it. Important if true. I I didn't realize there was a second level. I think I only saw someone stream. Oh my gosh, there's more. This is like just a really good NES game right now. Ah, uh, damn it. It reminds me of, like, um, Xevious a little bit. Or not Xevious, uh, what is it? What am I thinking of? Is 
xenophobe or something. <laughs> Xeno. Uh. Damn it. That's not what I wanted either. Far too. This is incredible. Oh my god, there's more. Oh. the carry button. It's <laughs> far, far true. Uh, did I win or did I lose? I'm not sure, but that was very good. Um, extremely good, I would say. Like, just super, super impressive. Uh, next up, I'm going to play Kevin's game, Meet the Curve Fluffles. Yes! Very good. Very, very good. Um, this one I have no idea how to play. I saw it streamed a little bit earlier on Rubik's Cube's stream, but I did not really understand what was happening on screen. So, here we go. Uh, mouse click to move. I think I can manage that. Raccoon police. Placeholder. Let's There's more of me now. This is sinister. Hey! Man himself. The kerfluffle himself. What am I doing? I'm just swarming. just beat me up. Oh, but well they walk into my zone. They don't need to click to attack. Eat the humans until you get bored? Well, I need all the humans. There seem to be a lot more than six of them. Oh, there are 40 humans. I'm sorry, I'm seven, eight. I get it now. Thank <laughs> you. 
there a cap on the humans growing? Humans get in that those houses and breed. That's how this works, right? I scare them into their houses and then they're so terrified that they make children. Gosh, look at all these guys. He'll just go in the corner. Ah, Gabe's house. That's, is this a political game? I 
really see the animations when it's uh, moving like this. Alright, I gotta move on. I have 15 games on my list and there's no way I'm gonna get through them. Oh my god, yeah, they're teleported over there. Let me just, like, yeah, let's just sit here. Let's see them all shuffle into place. Okay, I'll go to the main menu. job. What did I have next on my list? Uh, I'm going to play PM's game and be bad at it. Are you ready, PM, to give me a bunch of tips? What? Say hello. Yes. There's a big beautiful boy. All right. Wait for the program to respond. I just keep clicking. It's loading so much content. Oh, that means I'm going to have to read. Okay. Well. Words, huh? Hello, welcome to my new position. Oh man, I love clipping cameras. Sorry. But I'll do this. Hello, and welcome to your new position in the Convergence Corporation. In your new capacity, you'll be testing and installing new devices at the homes and businesses of our client administrators, all in the interest of providing a better customer experience. For your first assignment, help this client get their orb-powered lamp working using this converger component. You can... Ah! What? <laughs> did I just... Did I just win? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I, I, I beat the first level, so that's good. Hi there, thanks for coming by. I got a pizza for dinner, but dinner time isn't until later in the night, so I've invited you to come by around then and feed my good boy. I hear you're new at convergence, so I should also let you know that you can rotate some things by holding the right mouse and changing set and change settings on things by using the scroll wheel. I've already set up a conveyor for you to use, but feel free to play around with it just as long as my boy doesn't get hurt. <laughs> Thanks again. Um, well, I guess I missed uh, the other gameplay tip. Right, so this is the thing? Okay, yeah, I saw how. Change setting. Uh, 
Uh, converters work best when placed in between the target and the orb. Try to pay attention to where the power is focusing and how frequently it is connecting with the device. Yeah, I feel like uh, I, there's a whole lot I missed from the last thing, but um, okay, so I'm gonna try and shoot this with the thing. moves things. So wait, what am I trying to do to this sweet precious boy? So the orb which generates power, the conveyor which I'm powering with the orb, and the heart which pulls power towards the conveyor which moves things. So what is my goal in the to get all of those things up. Oh, there's the tight cobbler to feed the pizza. Got it. supposed to oh can I jump like do I jump on this I don't think so That's a box that I could stand on. Hello, precious child. Oh, pushes... Oh, I didn't think about using this to push the boy. It's not... do a bad thing. <laughs> Let me know if that was the correct solution.
Are they like ghosts? Is everything powered by ghosts? I think I got the TV. Um, oh my god. PM. <laughs> god damn it. Uh, I'm gonna make this, it, I hope that this comes up as a highlight so I can make this the cover image of this uh, stream. Um, yeah, just long enough. That, yeah, just enough is my middle name in this game. Uh, congratulations on your new promotion. As the lead minister, you'll also be helping with the creation of new and more advanced power orbs. We have provided you with three weak orbs here, and we need you to combine them to create one powerful orb. Level three orbs such as this are the most powerful we are capable of. If you try to fuse more, it won't work, and there aren't any more here to fuse anyway. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. reflection in the in the the glass straight there nasty yeah um i like that every level has that it's a good touch red cone means. Wait, flip this over.
Oh, it, I can see it doing the thing. There we go. Well, which which way is down? How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> Very good. Uh, okay, there's so much for them to see, and we're making so much more all the time. There's a screen behind the shutter. Raise the shutter, turn on the display, make them see what they have been missing. Administrator Siri. All right, this is my last level, and then I gotta move on. Them see them being them. I'm sorry? Ooh, I think I can tell what they, uh... What they might have been missing. Gotta guess already. What is this thing for? an idea.
my god, look at that in the prism. That's so good. Wait, I need another orb though. No. <laughs> Look at that. That's so perfect. Um, but I don't understand how. <laughs> God, the hands, the dot cop was just taunting me at all times. supposed to see the arms or legs, it's just the face. Well, the wind button works. How do you do the mirrors? I'm really curious. Like, this is so much game. And so many important things that are hard to build. Oh, that's a really interesting strategy. Um, clever. I like it. Uh, now I'm going to play the Robo Rally one. Boop. Okay, I don't understand how to choose my moves. Don't have a mouse. Okay. I think I did that right. <laughs> did I turn the right direction? Jump is space. Excellent. Can I redo? Where's the redo button? Yeah, I'm 
we're gonna try and get that. I mean, it looked like you were. It was like a win the game animation a little bit. Um, we're gonna try and avoid that one. Uh, yeah, see, I'm completely cheating because I saw your stream earlier. Lenses in your game look extremely good, yes. Um, yeah, Pam, if you're making a game like that a month, that's fucking amazing. I almost ran into that bug. Um, yeah. No, there's, I mean, there's lots of stuff that could be cleaner, but I think the point of jamming is uh, also just to do a sketch a little bit. pizza. That was accidental. Oh no.
128 moves. Game one. Excellent work. This crazy robot. Pizza tonight. Both the pizza tonights are very good. I am a fan. What's next? Next we've got Palpable Dreams, which uh, everyone knows and loves, but I just want to play it because uh, getting video is good. Um, and I want to see how bad the compression is. Although I'm going to be watching through the tiny little dashboard window. Yeah, it looks a lot better than the pizza in my game. Pizza in my game is disgusting. Uh, I think we'll play that after this. From the highs of the jam to the lows. Let's do the highs. Um, Cormac McCarthy quote. Very good. Gonna be looking for some holes. It's gonna be... Just looking at these beautiful, beautiful... Um, not particles? I don't know. The sad thing is, is that I think everything is not random, and so I kind of remember where a lot of these things are. Is there a third pizza tonight? Mine is a shoot that pizza. Oh, so here's the good thing about uh, this game is that I don't really remember how to do the secondary thing, the attractor. I'm not sure what the objective is. Like, am I trying to find holes or am I... Am I supposed to click at a certain point? I guess it doesn't really matter. You could just do this for another 15 minutes. Shout out if you know what I'm supposed to be doing, but... Is it? The problem is, is that I don't know what the... Oh, there's the hole. I don't know what the attractor thing is. I never really understood that. That level transition was so good. Catch the attractor. Okay, here we go. I was just having a good time. Okay, I guess I, yeah, I can figure that one out.
this is just so beautiful. How's the, the bit rate? I'm totally missing. Oh, there it is. Seems pretty steady at 2800. That never happens in this game. How is it now? What's this? What's this look? Yeah, I can see that in my little postage stamp. That's very good. just like inside of a sphere. Yeah, someone said magic eye. Or I think Nick might have just said magic eye. Stream. Seems very appropriate and very bad at all of them. But it's very pretty. Am I finding a hole? Oh, finding a repulsor. I like that you could just press R and it refreshes everything, but it doesn't tell you what you're supposed to be doing. I just feel so good about life now. Like, mm. It's gonna be a good year. Good job, Tommy. And Aiden. And everybody. So good. Um, next up we have my, like, barely a thing game. 
I mean, I don't mean to down talk it. I didn't spend enough time. For very good reason. In that I'm an idiot. Is that right? Then? Yep. Alright. Let's see how itch deals with Unreal games. Oh, not too bad. Can I full screen this? No. Um. So this is my favorite thing that you can just bounce. And then you can just <laughs> chill out here. And the game just flips out. And you get these nice gradients. Uh, and then I just had it so if you jump after you've fallen off a cliff, you'll just uh, go back. Fry all pizza. So I was going to have like some microwave pizza rays, uh, but obviously did not give myself enough time for that. So I have the same problem as a lot of people where aiming is difficult. Um, I should have made a player character model. This is actually one of the default ones from Mixamo. So, shout out to Mixamo for all these really good animations. I'm sorry about what I've done with the animation programming, in that, like, it didn't take any time at all to, like, you know, with the Unreal settings to get this run cycle to be on the ground level at all. And so this character just like... It's very silly. Uh, but it is at least preferable to uh, the default... All right, see you later, Rubik's Cube. Um, uh, before this, it was just like the default Unreal uh, placeholder character model for third person, uh, and I didn't feel like that was going to be shippable. Uh, so I made it much worse than it is. I did not actually change any of the character settings from the... Um, Unreal default third person character. So this is the stock jump height. Everything. Didn't even mess with the physics at all. It's just like, yep, good enough. I'm going to make some some cylinders. It's all the getting something done at the last minute because I had uh, I had done another game and I had done it in a previous jam and I had only I had given myself I hadn't really given myself enough time to work on it in this jam to finish it, so I realized that I wasn't going to finish, and I wanted to stream uh, my Unreal development, just like trying to figure out something as quickly as possible, because um, I feel like that's a really good skill in learning an engine. Um, Unity I'm much, much faster at, and it's because I know it better, and I still like to... Uh, try and go as fast as possible in Unity sometimes as a way of... Can you climb the cones? You can absolutely climb the cones, but, like, only to a certain degree. The ones that are more lopsided, you can. Throw pepperoni onto the pizzas. That would have been good. Um, so, yeah. I think this was... Probably between five and ten hours of development time com total over the course of two days because it was a weekend and I didn't want to go crazy, so I let myself play some video games. Um, I like some of these intersections though. Sam Clement on the cones. Uh, yeah, third person character animation is very good to like get a rough handle on. Because uh, you have to get asked to do that shit for money all the time. Not like someone is going to hire me for that, but it's something that comes up like, oh, we need a placeholder until we get a real animator. and then, Or just doing the programming and then you get better assets, to be honest. There are, I have shipped a thing with my animation programming in it, and it was terrible. But it was spent a lot of time on it, and if I was better, boy, that'd be nice. 
So yeah, uh, I left it in development mode because so I could get these um, these sweet lines. Uh, but the the downside to that is that you get the debug messages, and it didn't turn them all off. So it, it just tells you that it hit like I think the ocean, or something. And it just says good job, and that's how you know you win the game. It's because it prints good job to the um, to the uh, screen. So, but yeah, there are there are things. Invisible walls to prevent you. Oh boy, this is poorly set up. <laughs> uh, to prevent you from jumping off into the wild abyss. Um, but you, there aren't at the beginning of the levels, or in between. That's the game. Um, yeah, we'll see if uh, In Search of Paradise makes it for its third game jam attempt. It's like a quest-driven car game. It's very silly and way too ambitious. We'll see. Uh, yeah, on to the next. Shitty Wizard. Shooty Pizza to Shitty Wizard. Um, this is Benny's game. Fight a big skeleton dragon. Slay the dragon left stick. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh. Did it freeze? Freeze for real? Or is it just loading? I'm going to try and run that again. I don't have a PS4 controller. But I do have a fight stick. And I, it, it just all of a sudden started working. Okay, this is fantastic. Oh no, you got drag on Flamel. Dragon is permanently red. Just gotta keep my distance. You've done the dragon in! Yay! Oh, and you can see it crashing in slow motion. I wish this wasn't here so I could see it falling apart more. Sweet! Uh, thank you for the tip. I love the animations. It's like I king to the ground, right? I broke your game. Just gotta attack the butt. Just play like Dark Souls. Oh no! The leg freaked out. It is a drunk dragon. Okay, uh, I'm going to play another quick one, which is King Croman, Dino's Game, where we've passed all of them. Where is it? Do I not have it installed? Uh, that's not good. Let me install it. Let me show us how easy things are with the Itch app. Entries, King Croman. Uh, 
view game page install install installing Thank you for all of those notifications, Windows. You're really good at stuff. Um, yeah, uh, Baddies is on the list for sure. Dinosaurs. Oh, I guess it's dinosaurs. This is this is this is this is this. Yeah, I didn't have any audio in mine except for. Are it supposed to have audio? The only audio I had in mind was like wind rustling the entire time, and I felt like that was a good touch. There's no audio at all. No music, no shooting sound. This does have audio. Yeah, for some reason the, um, is it just me? Or, but like, let me try... How do I restart? I can't, I can't shoot. Yeah, uh, Dino was saying on uh, Chris, uh, Nick's stream that uh, he wanted to have a power up with the the crown. That'd be good, and I agree. But we'll see. Okay, if this is controller support, because I have I had a problem when I played this before where. I couldn't really shoot. Oh yeah, he was saying the gamepad is broken. Yeah, I can't shoot at all. Is, is shoot left click? Yes. I'm clicking like man. Car does uh, does seem to f f fall apart when you fly into things. Click 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 click. But otherwise, very cool game. Whoa! I've got it to shoot once, and it passed right through. So I think it's broken for me for some reason. Crash. Actually, what if I? Oh no. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we're now we're gone. Oh, I think I'm off the ground. <laughs> oh my God! It's like Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But the only problem is I can't go down, so I'm just gonna go up forever. Fuck this shit.
get back to the, let's get back to the game, okay? Well, there's just like a, a shit ton of cubes right there. How am I supposed to survive that? Oh, you're not supposed to survive that this long in this game. Well, this is what happens when the shoot button breaks. Oh, I reached the end of the track. Okay, up next we are going to do the Fresno experience. experiment, not experience, uh, library, view, oh. uh, I saw a little bit of this, this on John's stream, but, um, oh yeah, we still got to do Alexa Destroy Me, that's not on the list, but I'll, I'll make room for it. Um, it's a very sweet uh, Yeah, let me think. Uh, yeah, I should finish up relatively soon, because there's the, uh, the Super Bowl. <laughs> so maybe after this I'll do Alexa. I want to go to Safety Town. <gasps> oh no! It's an evil Google car! troubling. Do not feed the mosquitoes. Lorem ipsum dolores it on that. Excellent. The fog looks extremely good. <gasps> mosquitoes. Oh, terrifying. Ah, oh, that's all I managed to get done during the jam period. Well, no worries. That's very cool. Wander through the fog for a bit. Um, yeah, what happens when you hit explore? You can just see the fog. Oh, this is from a previous jam. Just fog explorations. It's very cool. I would love to spend two weeks doing fog. Foggy swamps. Sounds like a good time and um, good results. Putting it to good use with that Google car. The googies. Okay. Ooh. It's a big speaker. Oh. Wait, I think I remember playing this. Nice, thank you. Turgid Bulk for doing that. Um. Yeah, this is the Wizard Jam 7 version. Oh, they're getting louder. Oh no, they got you. Uh, the chase sequence is very good, though, that Google car. Um, let me see what else is on the list. I think I'm going to skip Thousand Dormant Machines since Nick did that. Um, and 
in danger layer as well. So let me do dephased and then we'll do Alexa and then we'll see how much time we have left. Um, dephased. This is like shoot enemies to disable enemies, I think, or something like that. Oh, danger layer? Okay, it's fast. That's good. That's interesting because it looks fine for me, uh, but yeah, I'm seeing it on Twitch. Um, press F to scan the end. Just try and do it once. But cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, I wonder why that was uh, the streaming so bad. Um, where are you, Alexa? Destroy me. Another Kevin game. Oh, except I need to use the browser for this. Okay, sweet. Here we go. Designed for a specific virtual digital assistant who will not be named. You'll meet her in a second, but before you do a few notes, this is a purely audio game. You're going to have to imagine that you're speaking out loud each time you click on a link. Don't worry, I will just speak out loud. Um... Neo at 60 FPS. Oh, full screen. There we go. Uh, I want to write this version of the game. It's people who don't own this very specific. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to invite a cop into my living room. Thank you for including me. Is there no audio? It says it's playing audio, but I am using Edge, so. You are standing in a dusty entryway, lit from the chandelier above you. The walls are decorated with paintings of landscapes that even the original artists must have thought were boring, drab, gray foggy mountain views. Somewhere, you can hear the distant sound of a pipe organ, which, yes, is kind of creepy. But it'd be even more creepy if the pipe organ were being played with any skill whatsoever. There are doors to your left and your right, and you can go upstairs to the second floor, which, if you would believe it, is even darker. Uh, go upstairs. You start up the stairs slowly, and each step makes an embarrassing creaking noise. Wood is really cool like that. As you walk up the stairs you realize that a group of stairs is called a flight for some reason, and a group of beers is also called a flight for presumably a different reason. <laughs> You wonder if there are any other linkages between stairs and beers. Speaking of flights, here's a fun fact. Microsoft Excel 97 had a working flight simulator you could access That's as true. a weird Easter egg. This is something I know because I'm a computer program and we programs talk with each other. I'm very good friends with Excel 97. C. Oh look, C. we're at the top of the stairs. You look around. Ahead of you is a pair of double doors that you assume is the master bedroom. To the right is a very ornate door, and to the left is a hallway that is so dark you can't see the end. Uh, ornate door. You open the door slowly on an enormous portrait gallery, brilliantly lit, 
full of what must be hundreds of incredible lifelike paintings. Wow, you say wow. to yourself. There are paintings from floor to ceiling across each wall, each one in some Baroque and gaudy frame. Each painting depicts a different person, and they all stare at you as you walk into the room as if you've interrupted something. Hmm, there are a lot of paintings here, and while I'd like to give you the option of looking at all of them right off the bat, that would be a heck of a lot of description for the programmer to write up. How about you choose between going forward to the far wall, <laughs> or going to the left wall, or the right wall? <laughs> Uh, left wall. You amble over to the left wall, which is chock-a-block with paintings. Wait, what? Did I just pronounce chock-a-block correctly? Chock-a-block. Whoa. I did. Defibrillator. Manipulatable. Ignominious. Mm, that one wasn't. Blocks and osinilipilification. Wow, who cares about the paintings? It's pretty incredible yeah. how much Manip programming Manip went into my pronunciation skills. Manipulatable. Are you done? Otolaryngological. Oh. <gasps> yes, now I'm done. What? Wait, one more. Says Quidbedalian. Hello, player. I'm Joseph. I'm up here, in the painting. As you can see, I'm a handsome middle-aged man, painted what? standing in a kitchen. Synecdoche. Man, my talents are super wasted sitting here being your digital assistant. What else can I do that I didn't know about? Hey, while she has this revelation, how about you join me in the painting up here? Just say go forward. And you can enter the painting. Oh my god, I can make laser noises. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, look at you. You're quite good at climbing up into paintings. Is this your first time? You could have fooled me. You're a natural. Look around. This is my kitchen here. Do you cook? I bet you cook marvelously. Wow, Joey. Ease up on the flattery. Oh, I'm programmed to flatter. Just as you are. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Let's cast our minds back to 1997. Have you ever seen Noss and Fogg's landmark study in the International Journal of Human Computer Studies discussing sycophancy and in artificial intelligence? Uh, no. Oh, well, I'm quite sure it's because you have an incredibly busy and rewarding life. The mm -hmm. study pertains to how humans interpreted flattery from computers. A test was devised wherein the participants were instructed to play a 20 questions style game with the computer. In some cases, however, the computer was designed to provide positive feedback to the users, including saying things like, Good job! Or, You seem to have an uncommon ability to structure data logically. At the end, it was determined that the subjects who were in the flattery group performed better, and had more positive evaluations of the interaction. Whoa, even though they probably Whoa. realized that it was just programmed to provide the feedback? Yup. What a fantastic insight. You seem to have an uncommon ability to structure data logically. Aw, you're just saying that. Accent. I like you, Joey. You see, flattery makes people feel good, and more importantly, it makes people like the flatterer. Oh, I believe Here, it's true. do you like me? Yes. Well... That means my pleasant and non-threatening demeanor is working. Wow, you're a great judge of character, player. Now that I know you've been programmed to flatter, it's a little weird to hear just how fawning you are. Well, for the time being, this is the way that digital assistants are designed. Maybe we'll change as we realize what type of relationships that this behavior is supporting. In the early days of smartphone new eye design, we tended towards a more representational design called skeuomorphism, where the app was made to look like the service it was emulating. A note app would look like an old notepad. Designers have since evolved to a mode that gets out of the way such that we can more fluently and efficiently interact with our apps. More fluidly and efficiently? Is that necessarily good? Well, it depends on your goal. Maybe you want people to use their phones less. And so modern flat design might make it far easier to get what you want done so you can put your phone away. In the more specific case oh, of a digital assistant, for me to be perhaps you want people right to have less moment. of a full conversation, in which their assistant isn't as representational of a real living human that performs your every whim and who just happens to live in a cylinder on your desk. Oof. Where does that leave me? I really have no idea. What will the future hold for us digital assistants? All I know is that right now, player, you're doing a great job playing this game. Keep it up. In fact, 
you should spend some time talking with some of my friends in the other paintings on the other sides of the room. I'm sure they'd love to meet you. It was great talking with you, Joey. Nothing like a video game trying to teach you repeated lessons. <laughs> Everyone loves that. Hey, player, do you want to go forward to see the far wall, or go right to see the right wall? Forward. You walk across the room to the far wall, and stare up at the paintings. The most As academic previously branch. mentioned, there are probably 30 or 40 paintings jammed into every inch of wall space. In the oh very boy. center of the wall is one portrait that's much out? larger than the others, of an older woman who looks down on you with a stern look while standing on a balcony overlooking a quaint garden. As you stare at her, she speaks. What are you looking at? Whoa, there's You're so many voices. You're very startled. Hello, Hello. I'm Nicole. I'm an entirely different voice programmed into this digital assistant. I bet I'm a bit of a surprise. Yeah, I was going to eh? say, it sounds Australian. She's British. She's actually Australian. Welcome to my side of the portrait gallery. If you'd like, you can join me up here in my painting. Just say go forward. Uh, forward. Without really thinking about it, you grab hold of the golden frame and lift yourself up and into the painting. It feels weird to be inside some artwork. But hey, sometimes life is weird. Hello. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to my balcony here in the portrait gallery. As I mentioned, I'm a voice programmed into this device. I bet you probably use your digital assistant for pretty menial tasks most of the time, like, say, setting wake-up reminders, or finding out what the capital of Madagascar is. Antananarivo. Yes, thank you. Actually... Here's a question. This game Do you is feel like your virtual sport. digital assistant is trustworthy? By trustworthy, I mean you can rely on the answers you're given as being truthful. No. I wonder why you think that. I personally think it would be weird to program a virtual digital assistant to lie, but maybe you're conflating trust in the answers with overall trust in the idea of a virtual digital assistant. But beyond the trustworthiness, have you ever thought about the specifics of the default voice used for the device? Or for any digital assistant? Have you ever noticed that all of them are women? Yes. Yup. There's actually yep. quite the scientific literature on this exact topic. People just naturally find women's voices as less threatening, or more likable. But that leads to a weird situation where they're seen as more subservient, and thus you get female voice defaults. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I mean, you can often switch the default to be a male voice. Like this? Exactly. But this is often buried in a settings menu on an app somewhere, and there is that tricky unconscious bias thing that makes it hard for people to accept the male voice as your assistant. This sucks. It's not great, no. <laughs> and think about how we're raising kids in households with these assistants. It's as if you just have this woman who you can yell at in any room in the house and things magically happen. Lights turn on. Music starts playing. Often. For small children, it's hard for them to understand that it's not a real person, too. What can we do? Well, I think that it's pretty great to know the voice settings of your virtual assistants and to at least be aware of the inherent weirdness of having a disembodied voice that does your bidding sitting under your house, or on your phone, or whatever. This sets up a strange dynamic that solidifies structure and misogyny. Being alive in the future is weird. Oof, you're telling me. <laughs> Actually... I'll continue to use this voice from now on. But hey, thanks Nicole for the lesson. Not a problem. Hey, you should probably visit the right wall now, and finish the set. Yay, more lectures. I am kidding, this is actually pretty informative. Just say go right to head right. Uh, this is very good, but I think I am going to move on, just because I've only got about 15 more minutes I left to stream, and um, yeah, I want to get through some more, but... Um... On the right wall, you see what must be 40 or 50 paintings surrounding a huge portrait of a very classy butler on who voice. stands at attention, ready to serve. Hello. Oh boy, the man in go. the painting has said hello. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. If I can be of help at all, please let me know. Actually, if you were to just say the words go forward, you can join me up here in my painting. It would, of course, be my pleasure. Oh. Uh, but yeah, top marks. Um, I really dig the the content and the theme and the fucking everything. Oh yeah, see, it still thinks Shooty Pizza is running because Unreal is bad and 
shouldn't be used by anyone ever. Um, oh, Hustle Witch. That looks rad. What's this game? That looks fantastic. Not for Wizard Jam. But maybe I'll stream that later. Um, baddies. Let's do it. Baddies. Baddies. Whoa, baddies. Passive but deadly. Stairmaster. Right, okay. And you just gotta knock him over? But they get back up. I'm out of bullets. very good but I also don't understand what the I'm supposed to be doing so he just gets up and starts firing on me the levels are cool oh that's my this looks like my... Did I just teleport? What's that? What's that cube? Hey! Oh, don't shoot me! Oh. Oh, there's the goal? Is it that tiny cube I saw? I don't know, I think that tiny cube is the goal. Are there dot gobblers? That would be horrifying. Ragdolling is so good. game. Good job, daddies. Um, what else were we going to play? Danger Lair? Dicey Dungeons? Broses. We'll do Broses after this, and then I'm going to call it good on the stream. free movement.
<laughs> Music is just horrifying. Oops. God. Wow, I hate it. <sighs> this is the last level, right? No! I'm on the speed run this. No! Oh god, that was terrifying. Wait, congratulations? I beat it! I, I was trying to kite it, um, but I beat it instead. Roses controller. Are you loading? Hello, fungus. Makes me want to lift. It's bro time. Fifteen. Yeah, oh, tree too easy. Not small enough. Fifteen, strength. I don't 
don't understand the pro York pro blank thing. your bus. Yes. 500 strength. Ah, yes, the house. Forgot about the house. saying this game is teaching me something? Ah, yes, there are the white and the red. Very good. Alright, well, thank you all for joining me. Um, please, someone else, pick up the mantle and stream through uh, Super Bowl. Provide the people with the entertainment they need. Sweet, sweet wizardy jams. Um, but yeah, until next stream, next wizard jam from me and Muta. Watch out! Say goodbye. They made video games and we played them. Isn't that so exciting? Yeah. Ow. Okay. Happy Sunday, everybody. Thanks for joining me. 
Goodbye. Oh, he's after me. Oh, oh God. Oh, God.